Uh, hi, uh, my name is Ron Panganiban. I'm going into the uh, ABIM research track for the uh, Gastroenterology Fellowship. I'm Lauren Kaminsky. I'm uh, in the ABIM research track program. Uh, started in 2017 and finishing up now in 2019. And I'll be starting fellowship in allergy and immunology. Uh, what's relatively you know new to me uh, which I'm very excited about for people who are again even more certain that research is, is a big part of their future the, in conjunction with the ABIM we're delighted to be able to offer uh, an experience where folks can do their medicine residency um, and then do actually several years of research training either with general internal medicine or um, often with their subspecialty that they go into um, and that can shorten some of their clinical training and again give them some dedicated protected time which is, uh, which is key if you're really serious about research. So again, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach and um, uh, I think there's something for, for everybody. To talk to the fellowship directors and talk to your program directors um, and they'll be open with you with how you set up your research years as well as your uh, clinical fellowship years. Uh, we actually do have this defined pathway. There's some other places that will offer research time, but uh, it doesn't fit the actual ABIM research track like the program here does support. And we get a lot of interesting patients, a lot of medically complex patients, uh, and we take care of them. Um, from a research standpoint, we have a College of Medicine uh, where I did my PhD also there, and we do very strong research. Um, as far as our um, internal medicine department, um, we're getting more and more um, independently funded researchers. I think under the leadership of Dr. Ma, uh, we've gotten a lot more R01s um, and other uh, funded uh, faculty uh, professors here. Uh, what you'd find with um, Penn State mentors is that they're very interested in your career growth. Um, that's actually one of the biggest reasons why you know, I did my MD-PhD here and then decided to stay here. People were very open to, to talk with me, to meet with me about opportunities that they had available in their, their labs or in their work. Um, and if not, they would let me know what else they knew was going on. Um, and so that was, that's been a very good experience. Uh, everyone is invested in um, your personal success, personal and professional success, and advancing you uh, to an independent research scientist. Um, applicants with uh, a strong research interest and applicants with strong research backgrounds. Um, obviously, um, MD-PhDs, um, if they want to keep following that track, and uh, MDs who uh, are very interested in research and have done some research before but would like to be more involved. In. It's nice here where you can apply to just the general internal medicine uh, versus the ABIM research track and can come here for an interview to find out more information or even message to find out more information.